I'm gonna show you a great trick for creating amazing lens flares that you can use in all your Photoshop projects. Hi, this is Rob Baldwin, and I do Photoshop tutorials twice a week, so if you're finding me for the first time, hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and be notified when we bring new content. Let's jump right in. First things first, okay, so in the last tutorial, you can, uh, you can click the card and see that one, we took this photo and we really colorized it. We added lots of color. And the last thing we did was add a lens flare. Okay, now, if you're familiar with Photoshop, you know that Photoshop, their default lens flare function is really crappy. It creates maybe, I think, three presets and they're very basic, not very exciting. So if you do wanna create exciting lens flares, in Photoshop, you need a third-party plugin. There are plenty of plugins um, out there. Some are very good for creating lens flares in Photoshop. My favorite is actually not a plugin for Photoshop. It's a plugin for Adobe After Effects. Now you might say, why should I, why do I need After Effects to create things and then bring it into Photoshop? And well, technically you don't. You could find some of these other plugins that are specific for Photoshop. But what I like about this one is that the other, it costs about the same as most of these other plugins. And since it works in After Effects, you get the added bonus of being able to use it for videos. So if you do video editing, then this is the best of both worlds. One plugin can do lens flares for your videos as well as your photos, okay? Downside being, of course, that you do need to have After Effects and you do need to get this plugin. Okay, the plugin in question is Optical Flares from Video Copilot. Like I said, it's just about as expensive as a lot of the Photoshop plugins out there, but this one works with After Effects and can do some phenomenal uh, lens flares for video purposes. I've used this in a lot of videos. I've used this in a lot of uh, graphic design projects in Photoshop. So it's really versatile, really worth it. I highly recommend it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is take our image from Photoshop and save it as a JPEG. Okay, so open After Effects and we're going to double click here in the project window and import our image that we just saved. We're going to take that image, we're going to drag it down to the new composition button that's gonna create a new composition, the proper size and everything. Perfect. Come up here to layer. We're gonna add a new solid. Make sure it's black. Hit okay. We got a new solid. With the solid selected, we're gonna come here to effects, video copilot, and optical flares. And I forgot to mention, obviously you will need to install this plugin, but all the instructions on that will be given to you from video copilot when you download the plugin. Okay, so we've, as you can see, we've, it generates a, a simple flare right here. What we can do is hit options right here. It's gonna open up the optical flares window. Now this is really, really amazing. You can basically create your own lens flare, lens flare from scratch using all these little elements, but it also comes with a whole lot of presets. So if you hit on presets, or Pro presets and look at all these fantastic flares that are already generated for you. Much, much better than the three that are provided in Photoshop. Okay, so we're just gonna grab one of these. And once you've got it, you're gonna hit okay. We don't need to, to tweak any of the other settings in there. You could. Now, as you can see, we've got two, two spots here in our main window. We can move the flare around the screen. We can also move the center point of the flare. And you can just basically move that until you reach a kind of desired shape, a desired direction for your flare. In the options here, we've got the position and the center position. We can also up the brightness. It's defaulted at 100. And we can up the scale, that's gonna just make it bigger and brighter. Defaults at 100. The rest of these settings are mainly for video. Well, you can change the color, so we can make it a red flare or a green flare, hit cancel. But the rest of these settings are more for video, so we don't really need them. We're gonna switch the blending option here to add. That's gonna place it on top, so we can uh, really position it where we want, so can move that point up here and then move the center point and this is where you'll play with your your settings I'm going to switch the, uh, the blending mode back to normal 
because I just want to see just the flare layer. Perfect. I'm going to come up here to make sure that the um, resolution is set to full. Sometimes when you're video editing, there's a lot going on. So if you put it to a quarter, it renders faster, but make sure it's on full. Come up here to composition, save frame as Photoshop layers, and we're going to save it as flare one, and it's going to save as a PSD. We can go the, now go back to Photoshop. We're going to open that file that we just created. Excellent. And we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it into our design. Okay. And from here, we change the blending option to linear dodge add. And there it is. And our, our flare is now in our Photoshop file. And it's the proper resolution and everything. Now we can, tr of course, this is just simple layers. So we can do, we can alter, play with this. We can add, um, change the curves if you want to change the, the uh, contrast of your flare. Hit OK. We can add a mask. And then we can grab a brush, same as we usually do. And if we want to kind of make it not as not as strong in certain areas, we can do that. So we can simply brush it out around here. And this is just preference. Just play with it. Okay, so. Just that easy with this plugin. Create, go into After Effects, uh, import in your image, put a new layer, put the add the plugin as an effect, and then create stunning, stunning um, lens flares that you can then export to Photoshop and use in all your projects. I've used this countless times to create really nice lighting effects for event posters or photography, anything really. I use this all the time, and I use it for video as well. So. If you are a graphic designer, but if you also do some video from time to time, I highly rec recommend this plugin. It's a great tool to have in your arsenal to do all sorts of design and creative works. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget that we got a lot more um, Photoshop tutorials, so you can check those out. And um, no idea what I'm saying anymore. And this has nothing in it. It's just a prop. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. Cheers.